third consecutive one they try and look to win as they progress through the tournament through these next couple of days. But you just mentioned David Mendez starting off a little slow, getting a walk, and that's something we've seen with the Mustangs do is they love to try and pick batter, uh, base runners off. Excuse me. So it should be a, a good, fun, exciting day as the weather's beautiful. So. Not a bad day to start the season. Weather is good, about 50 degrees here. Sunny, no wind. It's out here Saturday for the scrimmage where we had about 30 to 45 mile an hour winds. Climate scene was a little bit different, but uh, we'll take a quick break as the Broncos take the field and get set for the bottom half of the inning after one half in the books. 0 0 is our score. You're listening to Mustang Baseball on B106.com. Back here at Fort Morgan. Josh Miller alongside Braden Snyder bringing you Fort Morgan baseball coverage here in the Mustang Classic. Game underway. Nick Garver batting for the Mustangs leading off. Take strike one. Braden, if you would highlight some of the key returners here for the Mustangs offensively as uh, they get their first uh, at-bats of the season. Seniors starting off leading batters will be Nick Garver followed by... Michael Fitzsimmons, Matt Goto, Aaron Anderson, Justin Fluke. Um, their earned run average last year, Matt Goto led the team, followed up by Justin Fluke and then Michael Fitzsimmons. Mustang's a pretty solid team overall after coming back. They didn't lose. They did lose a big pitcher, David Garcia. It'll be good to the Mustangs to get this group back. They're experienced. They know what they're doing, and they have a lot of leadership here. So you look for them to kind of come out. Matt Goto leads the team in, with a 431 batting average. Aaron Anderson led the team last year in our RBIs. The RBIs, Aaron Anderson at 27, Justin Flug at 16, and Michael Fitzsimmons at 15. Michael Fitzsimmons also had four home runs in this tournament alone last year, as I remember, as Nick Garver gets a free trip down to first. So there's Matt Godin at the plate. But Josh, this is going to be a fun, exciting season for these Mustangs. Yes, it will. As we're underway here, baseball season's here, warmer weather on the horizon. As the Mustangs have their first base runner of the year. Ball is taken. Look for Nick Garver to try and steal second here. The Mustangs are very aggressive on the base paths. They've got Matt Goto, who's a solid hitter at the plate. Look for them to do a hit and run. Garver steals second. He is safe. Counts one and one on Goto. Number 21 for the Mustangs. One one is to count. No outs here for the Mustangs. Bottom half of the first inning, 2012 baseball season for Fort Morgan is underway. Runner in scoring position, Scarver. As Goto sets to receive the one one pitch. Reed for the Broncos sets to deliver. Instead, picks off to second. Ball squeaks away from Trujillo in center field, but not far enough for Garver to advance. He'll stay at second. As the Broncos and Goto for the Mustangs reset. Bottom of the first. 0-0 zero, zero is our score. Garver is second in scoring position. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way to Goto's. High and inside. Ball two. Two and one the count to Goto. Michael Fitzsimmons on deck for the Mustangs. Aaron Anderson in the hole as Goto takes ball three. Three and one to count. Goto looks down the line. Coach Langford, Josh Langford, the head Mustangs baseball coach, gets the sign. Trujillo at second and Maxie is short work. Garver hard hit to the third baseman. Garver gets caught off as he can't handle it. We're in a rundown. Goto's going to get to second. Garver's still in the rundown between second and third. He's tagged out. That'll be the first out of the inning. Goto did well there to get to second while Garver was in the rundown. That's going to leave a Mustang in scoring position. Garver's got to do a better job on that ball. Hit the third to read that and make sure the ball gets thrown across the diamond. But nonetheless, Mustangs make good of it. 
get that runner back into scoring position as Fitzsimmons comes to the plate. Morgan Federal Bank, your one-stop shop for banks. All of your banking and investment needs from checking to savings to IRAs, 321 is that Morgan Federal Bank, there's a difference. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Foul ball back behind us. Fitzsimmons can put him in the hole of one here. One out, bottom half of the first. Go to one second for the Mustang, says... Pitch is delivered, swung on and missed by Fitzsimmons. Going to put him in the 0-2 hole. Comes to the set, there's the Broncos pitcher, Reed, pitch on its way, 0-2, hit shortstop, go to running and moving, ball hit him as he tried to advance, that's going to be runner's interference, he's going to be called out, it's going to be the second out of this inning. Josh, you talked about reading the play. That looked like Goto just, the ball took a bad hop off the infield and caught him in the ankle. Kind of an unfortunate mishap for the Mustang. Definitely that is Anderson. Aaron Anderson for the Mustang steps up for his first step out of the season. Left-handed swinging is Anderson. Two outs here in the bottom of the first. He takes the first pitch for a ball as Fitzsimmons takes his lead from first. Reed for the Broncos comes to the set to deliver. Fitzsimmons gets a huge jump. No throw even by the catcher. Michael Fitzsimmons steals the base. Mustangs have quite a bit of speed here up early in onto this lineup. Even all the way through their lines up, they've got a lot of quick runners. So look for Coach Lankford to push them around the base pass pretty quickly. Something I had a chance to discuss with Coach Lankford. It was just that. He said his team's fast, and he expects to use that speed to their advantage all year. Anderson grounds out to the first baseman to end the first inning. we got one inning in the books here. Mustangs baseball underway. You're listening to B106.com. We'll be right back. Back here at Legion Field, Fort Morgan, Colorado, where the Mustangs taking on the Broncos. Mustangs classic. One seat, or one inning here in the books early in this baseball season, Braden. 0-0 is our score as we head to the top half. Of the second inning, leading off for the Broncos will be Christian Clear, left-handed batter, as Goto goes through his wind-up, delivers ball one. Nate Alexander in left field, Nick Garber in center, Jacob Frick in right, Matt Goto at third, Michael Fitzsimmons at short, Ulysses Hernandez at second, Cole Frisbee at first base, David Mendez on the mound, being worked and caught by Justin Flug. Aaron Anderson is the DH in today's ball game. Two one is the count on Christian Clear as Mendez works through the windup pitch on its way up and outside. Ball three. It's on the way, ball four, as Clear draws the walk. And put a runner on first base for the Broncos. No outs here, top of the second inning. As number one, Kyle Gardner comes to the plate for the Broncos. Mendez in the stretch, comes to a set, delivers. Gardner squares the bunt, balls in the dirt, well blocked by Flug, keeps it in front. Runners stay put. Ball one is balls tossed back here to Mendez, and he re regroups to deliver. 
Go to win on the grass, expecting bun again. Mendez comes set. Gardner squares, pulls back. Mustangs try to back pick the runner at first, unable to do so as he gets back in time. Two balls here on Gardner. Clear at first, got a pants full of dirt. She calls timeout, gets cleaned up. Good throw by Fluke there to Frisbee to try to back pick. Clear at first, Mustangs got the pick off successfully done in the first as Mendez tries here again, un unable to do so as the runners back safely. 0-0 zero, zero score, top of the second inning. Runner on first for the Broncos and clear. Mendez comes sets, delivers the 2-0 pitch inside fastball for a strike, 2-1 to count. As he works to even things up here and looks to at least get the ground ball. Gardner didn't square there and doesn't hear as well. Fits on its way, a high fastball swung on a miss, 2-2 two to count. Roto's taking a couple steps back. Now it's back on the dirt. Frisbee holds on the runner at first. Mendez checks. 2-2 two -two pitch. Now picked off. Runner back in safely for the Broncos. Mendez gets the ball back from Frisbee. And regroups here for the 2-2 two -two pitch. Mendez sets. Slide step. Fastball inside. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Be the first out here in the top up, the second for the Mustangs on the strikeout there for Mendez. That's going to be Brandon, bring Brandon Gearing to the plate, number 25 for the Broncos. One out here, top of the second. Frisbee holds on clear at first. Mendez comes set. Gearing sets the bunt, fouls it straight down into the dirt. That's going to put a Mendez ahead here early, 0-1. 0-0 zero, zero is our score. Top of the second inning here. Fort Morgan, Colorado, American Legion Field. Josh Miller alongside Braden Schneider. As Mendez sets to deliver his 0-1 pitch, it's called strike. That's going to put him ahead 0-2. One out here in the top of the second. Runner on first. Mendez ahead here 0-2. Sets to deliver. A little high and in tight. It's going to catch Gardner off the top of the helmet. Pitch may be designed to back him up off the plate, 0 2, to follow that 1 2 pitch up with the breaking ball. Gets away from Mendez and catches Gearing in the head. That's going to put two runners on base for the Broncos. Clear at second, Gearing at first. One out here for the Mustangs as the timeout's taken to make sure Gearing's okay. It's going to bring number nine for the Broncos, Cameron Maxey, to the plate. With the runners at first and second. Number nine for the Broncos here in the top of the second inning. Infield fly situation. Coach for the Broncos is... Put in a sign, Mendez sets to deliver the pitch. It's on its way, strike one, fastball on the inside part of the plate. Frisbee in front of the runner at first. Fitzsimmons works the runner at second. Pitch on the way by Mendez, low and outside. It's going to be ball one. One one's the count for the Mustangs. No score in this baseball game. As Mendez sets, but Simmons works the runner, now delivers curveball for a strike. Nice pitch there by Mendez. That ball broke beautifully. That breaking ball puts him ahead in the count here. One to two, one and two is the count. One out here in the top of the second. Mendez sets. Checks the runner, now delivers high and inside. Swung on and missed. Strike three. It's going to give the Mustangs their second out of the inning. That's Mendez's fourth strikeout here early in this baseball game. Yeah, he really likes to work that high fastball. Those Platte Valley hitters are not laying off, and I just heard their 
third base coach mentioned nothing above the hand, so we'll see if batter takes his advice. Jacob Smith heads to the play for the Broncos with two outs here in the top of the second inning. Runners at first and second. First pitch by Mendez is in the dirt, ball one. As Smith looks down the third baseline, gets a sign. Mendez does the same with Flu. Comes to a set, checks the runner at second. Now delivers, pitch on the way. Fastball down and on the outside part of the plate. He's called for a strike. 1-1 one, one is the count. As the Mustangs defense looking for some action, but Mendez has been able to take care of it for the most part here early as the pitch on his way, breaking ball. Hit down the right field line, but foul. It's going to put Jacob Smith in a 1-2 situation behind in the count. Mendez here early has gotten ahead in a lot of counts. Pitchers do that. They're going to be successful. And As he gets the sign from Flug and comes set, we'll see what happens here with the count 1-2, and two, two outs, top of the second. Mendez delivers. Strike three again. Braden on the inside part of the play. That's the letters. It's going to end the inning for the Broncos. They're going to leave two runners on base. No hits in this baseball game up until this point. We've got one and a half in the books. 0-0 zero, zero is our score. We'll take a quick break. You're listening to Mustangs Baseball on B106.com. Back here at American Legion Field, Fort Morgan, Colorado, where the Fort Morgan Mustangs open up their season here today in the Fort Morgan Classic against the Platte Valley Broncos. We've got one and a half in the books. 0-0 zero, zero is our score. We haven't had a hit in this baseball game, Braden. Broncos have left two runners on base. The Mustangs have left one as we get set to start the bottom of the second inning for the Mustangs. Number 10, Justin Flew is going to lead off. Cole Frisbee is on deck. And due up third is going to be number six, David Mendez. As the Mustangs look to put the first runs, well, quite frankly, the first hit of the season and put the first runs on the board this year. First pitch to Flug, who swung on a miss, strike one. Flug aggressive here early in the count, took a good hack at it, just came up a little bit short. Pitch on the way, it's taken. Strike two on the outside part of the plate. Good pitch by Riley Reed for the Broncos, puts Flug in an 0-2 hole here to start off the top of the second. Wind up. Pitch on its way by Reed in the dirt. Good 0-2 pitch. Luke does well to not chase. Pitch is going to be a ball. As Luke looks down to Coach Langford, nothing doing. Gets back in the box and sets for the 1-2 pitch. Pitch on the way by Reed. Behind Fluke and to the backstop. As the count goes to 2-2. Frisbee, a big boy on deck, power hitter for the Mustangs, left-handed swinger. He's out here this weekend, he hit a ball in the gap. Drove in a couple runs, see if he can't do the same, and Fluke can find a way to get on base. Pitch swung on by Fluke, high fly ball. That floats its way over the third base dugout, and out of play. As Fluke fights off that 2-2 pitch by Reed. 0-0 zero, zero is our score here, bottom of the second. Right now, I'm excited. Baseball season's underway. That's what I love and know best. And kind of hard not to feel a little bit like a kid on Christmas sitting out here in some warm weather watching baseball on a Thursday afternoon. Yeah, I'm starting to like baseball, too. It's just every year around the spring classic, you get a little bug feeling in your stomach, and you get excited. And after last year's season, what what's there not to be excited about? Yeah, Mustang's a great baseball team. 16-6 and six last year, 10-5 and five in Tri-Valley League play. Coach Langford looking to better that this year. That's the 2-2 pitch taken for ball three. 3-2 three, is the count to Flu. Coach Langford has high expectations for this year's baseball team. As he fouls off the 3-2 pitch straight back and into the fence. As he keeps this bat bat alive. It's been a good at-bat for Justin. Got in the hole early and he's fought back ever since. Making this pitcher really work and throw a lot of pitches early on. Talking to Langford, I got the sense the core group is back, and he's excited about that. Got some, some new players, some key players to watch this year. As Fluke draws the walk, and the Mustangs get their leadoff runner on base. Courtesy runner for... It's 
going to be Sergio Baquero running for Flu get first. Our catcher gets the courtesy runner as Frisbee steps into the box. Reed wants to keep Baquero close to the bag. And tries for the pickoff, but uh, Carroll's able to get himself back. Reed sets to deliver. Frisbee on its way. Swung on. Ground ball, second base. Fielded by Trujillo. Sends it over to short to Maxi and across the diamond to finish the 4 6 3 double play as Frisbee grounds out. T.O. Charlie, see T.O. Charlie for a great used car or truck today. If you don't see what you want on the lot, they will find it for you at 700 West Platte Avenue in Fort Morgan. That's going to bring David Mendez to the plate, the pitcher for the Mustangs, with two outs here in the bottom of the second inning. He takes ball one as the pitch is long outside by Reed. That's probably going to be a little bit rusty as the Mustangs look to get started this season. Braden, you and I had a chance to talk to Coach Langford before the game, and he said he likes to get out and get started early to work out a lot of the rust and kinks as uh, the Mustangs get set to head towards Tri Valley League play. Yeah, as today he mentioned, today is the very first day you can officially start the season, and he said, I like to do just that. And that scrimmage that you were at Saturday, he said, good example of how we played against Thornton. We played well and came out in Sterling, and we saw what we need to work on, so. Looks to improve that. Pitch is hit high and deep. As Mendez puts all he's got into it, and the Mustangs are going to have their first hit of the season, their first run of the season on a home run by David Mendez over the left center field fence. Josh, what does that send? It's pitcher versus pitcher. You're your opposite to just put one deep left on you. What, is that, what message does that send for the Mustangs? Well, if anything, Mendez has shown he's going to be able to help himself this year. As I had a chance to talk to Coach Langford this season, uh, early in preparation for this season, and uh, he said Mendez uh, had a lot of expectations on the mound. Didn't necessarily look too much to, to him as a hitter, but uh, nonetheless, he gets the Mustangs off to a great start here. As they now lead one to nothing on the solo home run, as Nate Alexander steps into the box for the Mustangs. And takes ball one. 344 down the left field line, 344 in center, and 307 down the right field line here in Fort Morgan as Nate Alexander hits a high fly ball, can of corn for the second baseman, Trujillo, who puts it away. And it's going to end the second half inning for the Mustangs. And with that said, After two in the books, Mustangs lead on their only hit by Mendez, one to nothing after two. Platte Valley Hearing Center at 417 Main Street in Fort Morgan is getting your hearing to its very best. Ackley Building Center, your one-stop center for projects around your home, office, or yard. Ackley Building Center located at 1402 Mill Street in Brush. And buildings by design. The most important thing to buying a new building or starting a new design build project is picking the right company to build it. Call Pat Walter, Travis LeFever, or Jared Samples for your free bid, 970-842-5837. Again, that phone number is 970-842-5837. Buildingsbydesign.com. As Mendez finishes up with his warm-up pitches, probably going to have a little bit of adrenaline and uh, knows he's got to run to work with his he puts the Mustangs on the board here early this season with his first hit of the season. A good one at that. A home run puts the Mustangs up one to nothing as we head towards the top of the third. Due up here for the Broncos, Riley Reed. Brandon Richardson and Jordan Dunn will be the first three hitters due up here for the Broncos in the top half of the third inning. And as goes through his windup, pitch on the way. Fastball, a good one, a little bit outside. And ball one called. Yeah. 
Another good fastball on the way by Mendez and called for a strike. 1-1 one, one is the count to Riley Reed, the pitcher for the Broncos. Mendez got the better of Reed last inning. See if Reed can answer or respond. Unable to do so here on this pitch as he swings through the fastball, putting himself in a 1-2 hole. One two is to count. Mendez working quick here, which is nice to see. Wind up, pitch on the way. A little bit of a slider up high, but swung on and missed. Strike three. Going to do it for reading. Going to give us one out here in the top of the third as Brandon Richardson steps up to the plate, looks down quickly, gets a sign. Nothing likely going here with nobody on base as Mendez sets now delivers. Pitch hit down the right field line, trailing away from the right fielder, Frick. Frick unable to get there, but the ball's going to be out of play. Foul ball. We'll put Richard is in an early hole, a one here. As Mendez gets a new baseball. Frick Garver, Alexander in the outfield. As Mendez goes through his windup, pitch on the way. Ground ball, second base, fielded by Hernandez, thrown on to first in time. As the Mustangs get the second out of the inning on the 4-3 ground out. Good job there for Hernandez. Ball got away from him for a quick second, but able to pick it back up in front of him and make the throw to Frisbee for the out. Two outs for the Mustangs as they look to go back into the dugout and add more runs to their early lead as the pitch on the way by the Mustangs' Mendez is swung on and missed. Strike one to Jordan Dunn for the Broncos. Mendez gets the ball back. He's working with the pace about himself. Quick to get the ball back from Flug and right back at it. Curveball a little high and inside. Ball one. One-one is the count. Top of the third inning, Mustangs lead one to nothing with two outs in the top of this third inning. Mendez delivers, fastball right down the middle, taking a strike two. Mendez ahead in the count, one and two. As the Broncos struggle to find their first hit this baseball season. One-two pitch on the way. Weekly hit, right side fielded by Mendez, flipped on to Frisbee for the out. And that's going to do it for the Broncos in the top of the third. Three ups, three down. As we take a quick break, we'll be back with the bottom of the third. Central Auto Parts for all of your auto supply needs. Stop by Central Auto Parts at West Platte Avenue in Fort Morgan. Premier Farm Credit, committed to serving those in production ag. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. Also, Colorado Plains Medical Center, transforming lives each day. Colorado Plains Medical Center is where people choose to go for health care. And Northern Colorado Title. For all of your title needs, visit Tim Weimer at Northern Colorado Title at 205 West Kiowa in Fort Morgan. Don't forget about Bijou T-Quest at 302 Main Street in Fort Morgan, customizing your leather jackets, t-shirts, banners, and more. They're also your local experts in customizing your team's sports apparel. As we head towards the bottom of the third, Mustangs lead the Broncos on one run with one hit. And a runner left on base. Mustangs run coming on Mendez's solo home run. The Broncos no runs with no hits. And two runners left on base. As the Broncos are back on defense and look to control the Mustangs who are trying to get some offensive momentum heading into the nightcap here this evening with Brush at 6 o'clock. Two up for the Mustangs is number four, Ulysses Hernandez. Number 24, sorry, number 5, Nick Garver will be back to the top of the lineup. Aaron Anderson is DHing today for uh, Jacob Frick. Offensively for the Broncos, Jacob Smith in left field, Jordan Dunn in center, Gardner in right, Brandon Gearing at third, Cameron Maxey at short. Mario Trujillo at second, Christian Clear at first, Riley Reed on the mound with Brandon Richardson catching. Ulysses steps into the box for the Mustangs, first pitch on the way and up a little bit high, ball one. As Ulysses looks to get his season started on a high note. Reed works through his windup, pitch on the way, a little bit outside, ball two. 
as Hernandez puts himself in a good hitting position at the 2-0 count. Reed gets the sign, pitch on its way. Down and inside, ball three. 3-0 the count here. Looks like Coach Langford puts on the take sign here with the 3-0 pitch. We're going to need another base runner on the paths. And 3-0 pitch is taken for a strike on the inside part of the play. 3-1 now the count on Hernandez. one nothing is our score as the Mustangs lead here, bottom half, third inning. Pitch on the way by Reed. Swung on, hit down the left field line. Fair ball. Lucy down the box quickly, rounds first, headed to second. Throw comes in as they work it towards third. Ulysses is going to have a stand-up double. Great piece of hitting by Ulysses. With that double down the left field line, that's going to put a Mustang in scoring position. As they head back up to the start or top of their lineup. As Garver steps up. Bucks ball left side, unable to get the runner as Reed tries to get Ulysses out at third, unable to do so. On the fielder's choice. Garber's going to be safe. And that's going to give the Mustangs runners at first and third. As the pitch is taken by Goto, ball one. Runners at first and third here for the Mustangs. Carver at first. Lisi's at second. Uh, ball is well struck by Goto. Left field and deep. That's going to be a three-run home run for Goto over the left field fence. Nothing Broncos are going to be able to do about it. As Goto is going to pick up. Three RBIs and extend this Mustangs lead here on the bottom half of the third inning. As Goto hits his home plate. Ball well struck by Goto. As the Mustangs now lead the Broncos here four to nothing. Good to see Goto recover after his first step back, come back and put that ball deep left as that cleared the cars that are sitting out in left field and as I see a fan chasing down his ball, and I'm sure he'll get that back after the game. Pitch on the way to Fitzsimmons, ball one, as the Mustangs have the early lead, four to nothing, bottom half of the third. All four of the Mustangs' runs coming on home runs as Fitzsimmons takes ball two. It's on the way, 3-0 count. Two Fitzsimmons, ball's high, and that's going to be ball four. As Fitzsimmons picks up the walk and gives the Mustangs another runner here and on base. Coach for the Broncos wants to come out and talk things over with his pitcher as Aaron Anderson steps in for his second at-bat. Anderson in his first plate appearance grounded out to the first baseman. As he looks to better that here on a second attempt. Four to nothing is the score. Bottom of the third inning. Fort Morgan High School baseball season underway here with the Mustang Classic. Mustangs looking to get some momentum as they play Rivals Brush later this evening in the nightcap. Six o'clock here under the lights at American Legion Field. Yeah. 
Anderson, a left-handed swinging stick. Takes ball one down and outside. Ball one. Simmons takes his lead off first. Pitch on the way to Anderson. Swung on, hit down the right field line, and hooking will it stay fair? No, just foul. Anderson got a good cut. A piece of that baseball. Hooked on him a little bit there at the end. But he'll have another chance at it. With the count 1 1 on that foul ball. Right there. Anderson gets back in the box. Fitzsimmons resets at first, has his lead. Signs given by Coach Langford as Reed comes to the set. Pitch on its way. Taken by Anderson, down and in, ball two. Mustangs lead four to nothing. All four runs, Braden coming on home runs as the Mustangs prove they can hit the ball out of the, ba- uh, out of the park. The BB core bats, that's been some discussion, as they may not have as much pop as years past, but uh, hasn't hurt the Mustangs here early on as Fitzsimmons tries to steal the base. Pitch is called the ball, which is going to be a 3 1 count for Anderson, and Fitzsimmons picks up the steal. And with that stolen base, Mustangs can have another base runner here in scoring position. As Anderson has the. Favorable hitters count three and one. He's going to look for a good pitch to try to do something with it. Drive in Fitzsimmons here and extend this lead for the Mustang. Reed comes to the set. Check fix Simmons. Anderson swung on right side ground ball. Collected by Trujillo at second. Thrown on to first for the out, but Anderson does his job and moves the runner over to third. Simmons now at third for the Mustang. As Justin Flug, the catcher for Fort Morgan, steps in with one out here in the bottom of the third inning. It's Simmons off the bag at third, reads through the windup, pitch on its way and outside, ball one. Riley Reed for the Broncos, working from the windup here with the runner on third in fifth Simmons. Justin Flug swings at the offering by Reed. Lazy fly ball to first base. It's caught by Christian Clear for the Broncos. Nothing that Fitzsimmons is going to be able to do as he hangs tight at third base. That's going to bring Cole Frisbee up to the plate for the Mustangs. He grounded out in his first at-bat to the second baseman. And takes ball one. The second pitch on the way by Reed is also a ball 2-0 to Frisbee. Simmons hard off the bag at third, looking for that pass ball possibly to pick up the Mustangs' fifth run here. Reach pitch on the way, swung on and fouled off over the railroad tracks. Good cut by Frisbee with that 2-0 count. 2-1 now, the count on Frisbee as Reed gets a new baseball. Picks up the sign from his catcher, Richardson. Now works through the windup pitch on the way. A little bit of a breaking ball in the dirt. Good job by Frisbee to spit on it. As Frisbee now has the 3 1 count. Frisbee looks on and takes ball four. And that's going to bring up David Mendez. David Mendez. One for one here today with the solo home run. Picking up the Mustangs' first run of the season on his solo home run. Mustangs lead here in the bottom of the third inning, four to nothing. Have runners here on first and third base. With Simmons at third for the Mustangs. Frisbee at first after the walk. Mendez looks down at the box, now steps in. 
Reed comes set, delivers, pitch on the way, swung on, hard hit, third base. Unable to be handled by the third baseman, Garrett goes out into left field. Mustangs are going to pick up their another run. And there's that sound. Famous train. About every 15 minutes, and that's pretty much how you know it's baseball season when you're up here in the press box. It's going to bring Nate Alexander up for the Mustangs with runners at first and second. He steps in, swings on on the first pitch. Foul back and away to the right side. Going to put him in a early hole, early hole here, 0-1, with that foul ball. Nate in his first at bat, fly down. Second pitch on the way again, fouled off right side over the first base, dug out towards the bathroom. This year. It's going to put Alexander in an 0 2 hole. Mustangs lead 5 to nothing. Runners at first and second, Crispy at second, Mendez at first. Pitch on the way by Reed, taken outside, ball one. Coach Langford running through some signs. As Alexander now gets back in the box. Reed comes to a set, looks to runner back, Frisbee at second. Alexander hits a high pop-up right in between the pitcher's mound and home plate. Catcher comes out and calls off his teammates. He's unable to catch the, the baseball as it hits the ground. Everybody's going to be safe. That's going to give the Mustangs... We see Hernandez a chance with bases loaded, two outs here in the bottom of the third inning to drive in some more runs. The sun's right in the right spot, and I think it just caught the catcher off guard. A little bit of wind every now and then as I just saw a little twister go through on the pick up some dirt. Catcher unable to make the play. It's swung on by Ulysses. He had a double down the left field line in the First at bat, he flies this ball to the left field. As Jacob Smith for the Broncos is able to catch it, and that's going to end the Mustangs' rally here in the third. Three in the books says the Mustangs. As the Mustangs lead here. Insurance Connections, whether it's health, life, or dental insurance or medical supplements, see Sharon Kaufman at Insurance Connections today. Back here, American Legion Field. 5 nothing is our score. The Mustangs lead with three in the books. As the Mustangs head back out on defense, Mendes working on the mound for the Mustangs here as we're Top of the fourth inning with the Broncos, Mario Trujillo stepping into the box, takes strike one. Good fastball by Mendez. As Dave Mendez works through the windup, pitch up and inside, fouled off right side by Trujillo. It's going to put him in an 0-2 count as Mendez gets a new baseball. Top of the fourth inning, Mustangs lead 5-0. Four of the five Mustangs runs coming on home runs. Mendez and Godo. Godo with a three-run shot. Mendez with the solo shot. The 2 pitch by Mendez is taken for a ball. one two to count as he sets now, delivers the one-two pitch. Taken inside, strike three. Mendez with another strikeout here for the Mustangs. Mendez looks really comfortable up there, just having a lot of fun. You say he's working quick, quick. He's just got into his own zone and is not letting anything phase him. Mendez here, 
delivers the first pitch for a strike. Second pitch now on its way, grounded right side, taken by Ulysses Hernandez, flips it on to first to Crispy for the 4-3 ground out. That's going to give the Mustangs two outs here in the top of the fourth inning. Hernandez did well there to stay down, make the play, and send it on its way to Frisbee for the 4-3 ground out, giving the Mustangs second out here in this inning. Hernandez, 51 total pitches, 33 at this point are strikes, 18 for balls. Pretty good number and, and count here early for Mendez as he's done well to work ahead in counts. First pitch here to Gardner is taken for a ball. As Mendez regroups here with the second pitch on its way now, swung on for strike one. Good fastball up and in. And tied on Gardner of the Broncos. 1-1 one, one pitch. A breaking ball. Swung on and missed. 1-2. Mendez working with a little bit of a very quick pace here, which uh, is going to keep the Mustangs' defense on their toes. As now he delivers the 1-2 pitch. And inside, and up in the letters, swung on and missed. It's going to be another strikeout for Mendez, and that's going to end the fourth. That's the third batter that I've seen that takes a step back, like they're trying to back out of the box when that pitch comes in. I don't know if that ball's moving a little bit when it comes in or not, but that's whatever it's doing, it's working well for David Mendez. Mustangs have Jacob Frick, Nick Garver. And Matt Goto coming to the plate for them in the bottom of the fourth. With three and a half in the books, Mustangs lead five to nothing. The Broncos, no runs, no hits, one air, two left on base. As the Mustangs have five runs on five hits, no airs, and four left on base. And, Braden, you talk about pitches moving for... Mendez, that was his eighth strikeout in this baseball game. So he's doing uh, a lot of the work on his own. But uh, when he's getting ahead with those fastballs early in the count, not wasting many pitches, uh, maybe uh, the sign of good things to come is Coach Langford had and put some high expectations on David uh, to perform uh, this year on the mound. So uh, he's off to a great start here as we've got four and a half in the books and the 2012 season's underway. And David comes back next year, and that's a good deal because we have Matt Goda, who's also a pitcher. Justin Flew can step up and pitch along with Michael Fitzsimmons, and right there, that's three seniors. You don't really want to come in and try and have to find a brand-new pitcher, and this, I think, with David Mendez, brings a lot of good things to this Mustang ball club. Yeah, and Lakeford's uh, really built a, a solid baseball program here for Morgan. He uh, sees a lot of bright things with the youngsters coming up and through the program. At each of uh, the levels, he uh, did mention earlier when we talked to him, Braden, we will see Matt Goto on the mound in the nightcap. He'll be the starter tonight against Brush. Six o'clock baseball game here at uh, American Legion Park. As the Mustangs take on the beat diggers in the nightcap, this Platte Valley Broncos team will play Brush following this baseball game before the Mustangs will see the beat diggers here at six o'clock. That's kind of nice. I mean, they'll they'll have brush. They'll come off a game. They'll brush. Will play back to back. Mustangs get a little break here in the middle. I believe I haven't seen the bracket or how it's going to play out, but just the way it seems to be set up, it looks like the Mustangs will kind of have a little rest and then come back refreshed and rejuvenated to play brush. And it's always a fun game anytime you get the opportunity to play with brush. John Beltran will join us at six o'clock, and we'll have that beat diggers. Mustangs baseball game for you on B106, B106.com. As Nick Garver steps into the play, into the box for the Mustangs, takes ball one. Second. 1-1 1-1 is the count now on Garver. Looks down, quick glance, Langford now back into the box. Reed works through his windup, pitch on away, a little bit of breaking ball off, speed pitch high, taken by Garver. 
Ball two. Two and one is the count. Mustangs lead five to nothing in the opener of the 2012 baseball season. Five to nothing. Bottom of the fourth inning. As Garver takes yet again another breaking ball low and inside. Ball three. Three and one the count on Garver. He's back in the box ready to get a good pitch to hit here. Wind up, pitch on the way, swung on, high fly ball, right side, tailing towards the dugout. Looks like it's going to stay in play and does. Caught by the first baseman in foul territory. Christian Clear. That'll do it for... Garver, and that brings Matt Goto up to the plate. Goto's last at bat, a three-run dinger over the left field fence. And first pitch uh, looked to be a breaking ball that didn't break, and that's going to get Matt in the shoulder, and he's going to head down to first base. You give the Mustangs a base runner and bring up Michael Fitzsimmons, number 14. Fitzsimmons. 0 for 1 with a walk and a fielder's choice. On the fielder's choice, he grounded towards third. That was back in the first inning, if I'm not mistaken, and that actually got Goto in the foot, which was the runner's base runner interference call. As Fitzsimmons now steps into the box, 0 for 1 here today. Goto off the bag at first. The fire didn't like what he sees. I'm not sure what he saw, but he wants the catcher to go talk to his pitcher. Don't know if the pitcher's going to his mouth and not wiping or something along those lines, but nonetheless, we're back here and set and ready to go. As Goto gets off first base, gets a quick check from Reed. Reed comes set, pitch on its way, swung on, hit the center field by Fitzsimmons, center fielder. Doran goes back, able to make the grab. Gets the ball quickly in to the shortstop, Maxi. Roto went about halfway. Nothing he's able to do. Ball not hit far enough to tag as he retreats to first base. He's going to bring up Aaron Anderson. DH here for the Mustangs. Anderson with two ground outs to the right side of the infield. As Goto gets off the bag, a quick check from Reed. Reed now sets, delivers, curve ball high and outside, taken by Anderson, ball one. Bottom of the fourth inning, Mustangs lead five to nothing. As Fort Morgan here opens up and plays Flat Valley. Mustangs lead the Broncos five to nothing. As the second pitch to Anderson, a fastball down and outside, taking ball two. Brandon Richardson, the catcher for the Broncos, tries to back pick Goto at first, unable to do so as Goto's quick to get back. Goto now back off the bag as Reed comes set. Anderson ready, pitch on away. Not sure if that was a fastball with a little bit of velocity taken off or a changeup. Nonetheless, it's called a strike. 2-1 now is the count on Anderson. As he's quick to get back in the box, Reed comes set, checks Goto, pitch delivered, swung on by Anderson. A fly ball right side of the infield to the first baseman. Clear, he's able to catch it, and that's going to end the inning for the Mustangs. We've now got four in the books, Braden. Mustangs lead five to nothing. You're listening to Mustangs Baseball, B106.com. Equitable Savings and Loan, Northeast Colorado's hometown savings and loan in Fort Morgan and Brush. T.O. Charlie, see T.O. Charlie's for a great used car or truck today. If you don't see what you want on a lot, they will find it for you at 700 West Platt Avenue in Fort Morgan, where it needs to be. And Ingmeyer Phillips, Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance, locally in Fort Morgan, Brush, offers home, health, auto, and for farm workers and workers' compensation. That's Ingmeyer Phillips. Mustangs take the field here as we head towards the top of the fifth. Due up for the Broncos, Brandon Gearing, Cameron Maxey, and Jacob Smith. Gearing in his first step back uh, was hit by a pitch as Mendez heads out for the Mustangs to start his 
fifth inning of work. Four innings in the books. Mendez has thrown 55 pitches. He's gotten eight Ks. Does have two walks and a hit by a pitch. Has not allowed a hit. Not a bad way to start out your season. No, really not. And I watched Mendez throw on uh, Saturday against uh, Thornton. Wasn't able to stay here too long with the cold and the wind, but I was able to see him work for what was six outs. And uh, in doing so, he... uh, he threw very well in, in that Saturday game as well. And uh, not to say a shaky start, but uh, the first batter he faced here in today's ball game, you could tell probably a little bit of nerves here now that the season's underway. Didn't handle that as well as he has uh, every batter from here on out. So eight strikeouts in the book, and we've still got uh, three innings to play. I'd imagine uh, he's going to add a couple more to that tally, and uh, if he keeps up this pace uh, and these results, I don't imagine we're going to see anybody else in this ballgame on the mound. That's going to be no need. His pitch count's going to be low enough. He's it's one thing to watch is Langford usually lets his pitchers go pretty pretty long and has confidence in him. Then his first pitch was a ball as he sets and now delivers his second. A little bit of a breaking ball in the dirt, but swung on by Gearing. That's going to be a 1-1 count as Mendez now delivers the 1-1 pitch down and outside. Ball 2. 2-1 two the count to the Broncos' Brandon Gearing. As Mendez gets in and looks to get his sign from Flug, now winds up. Pitch on the way. 2-1 pitch, a fastball down the middle, swung on and missed. Strike 2. 2-2 two is the count. Top of the fifth inning, Mustangs lead five to nothing. As Mendez delivers the two two pitch. A breaking ball fouled off down the right field line. Gearing's gonna keep his at bat alive a little late on that fastball by Mendez. Able to get his bat on it, but uh Mendez right now has the upper hand. Mendez winds up, delivers the two two pitch, again beating the ground now right side. Again, foul. As Gearing looks to fight off some pitches here and stay alive. Mendez gets a sign from Flug. Now winds up. 2-2 pitch on the way. Again, swung on. Fouled down the right field line. Jacob Frick does his best to give chase. Just not enough time to get there. As the count remains 2-2 here on Gehring. And this collects a new baseball from the umpire. Gets the sign from Flug. As he prepares now to deliver the 2-2 pitch. On its way, again fouled off. Gehring doing a good job here to stay alive. Make Mendez work a little bit. It's probably the most, uh, most pitches uh, Mendez has had to throw to any single hitter. As Gehring giving a little bit of a challenge for the first time today. Mendez nods his head, now delivers, fastball inside, swung on and missed. Not collected cleanly by Flug, so he's going to have to throw it down to first base. It does so successfully. He's going to give the Mustang the furthest out here in this. Top of the fifth inning as Mendez now works on Cameron Maxey. Maxey swings at the first pitch by Mendez, fouls it off and out of play. A little dinker down the third baseline here. Puts Mendez and gives Mendez the early lead 0-1. Fastball now, a good fastball right down the middle, but swung on and not able to be handled by Maxie's going to put Maxie in the 0-2 hole. And then gets a quick sign. Now back on his way. The 0-2 pitch. Down inside and called strike three. Taken by Maxie. Good low fastball at the knees on the inner part of the plate. It's going to give Mendez now his 10th strikeout. As, uh, always good to see. But uh, 
also like to see how this Mustangs defense works, and we haven't had the chance to see much of that here as Mendes is uh, taking the bull by the horns and uh, doing his work to eliminate a lot of problems for his team. First pitch was a ball here to Jacob Smith. Second is swung on and missed. Breaking ball in the dirt by Smith. It's going to make the count 1-1. Two outs here. Top of the fifth inning. As Mendez sets to deliver the 1-1 pitch on its way. Swung on. Lazy fly ball right side. Mendez quick to hustle. Looked like the ball was in foul territory, but uh, Mendez touched it, and umpire behind home plate says he touched it in in fair territory, so that's going to be uh, ruled probably an error and give the Broncos a base runner here. Right. As that fly ball is unable to be handled by Mendez. Runner at first for the Broncos. Mendez comes set from the stretch. Frisbee holding on the runner at first. Fastball delivered down low and in the dirt. Ball one to pinch hitter, Braden. Yes, it is. It is Seth Walters. Kind of snuck in on there, in on us there. Walters with his first uh, plate appearance here, coming in. Squares now the bunt, stabs at it, unable to draw contact. And that's going to be a strike. 1-1 one, one is the count on Seth Walters. Smith, the runner at first, held on by Frisbee of the Mustangs. Mendez looking into Flug to get the sign. Now comes to a set, pitch on the way. Fastball down and outside. Ball two. Two and one the count here. On the batter, Seth Walters. Top of the fifth inning, two outs. Mustangs lead five to nothing. Mendez comes to the set, pitch on the way, swung on and missed by Walters. What looks to be a little bit of a cutter or slider there by Mendez. And that baseball ran away from Smith. He wasn't able to come close to getting his bat on it. 2 2 now, the count with two outs. Mendez sets. Check Smith a couple times, now pitch on its way, swung on foul straight back. That's going to keep Walters alive. A little bit of a breeze. Working here straight away from home plate towards center field. Not enough to create any trouble here. As Mendez sets, delivers the 2-2 pitch, swung on, and missed. And Mendez takes Ball by the horns again, Braden, as he collects yet another strikeout. Chalked up the 11th one of the day. Which uh, hasn't been too much of an issue for him to uh, to achieve. As Mustangs, Justin Flug, Cole Frisbee, and David Mendez do up for the Mustangs. And with four and a half in the books, the Mustangs lead five to nothing. Mustangs five runs on five hits, one air. Five runners left on base. The Broncos still yet unable to collect a hit. No runs, no hits, one air, and three left on base. Mustangs baseball, B106.com. Cargill Meat Solutions takes as much pride in the community just as they do in the products they provide to their consumers. Part of the KSAR B106 Scholarship Program. And Platte Valley Hearing Center, 417 Main Street in Fort Morgan, getting your hearing to its very best. Mustangs. Off to a great start here. Game number one, almost in the books. As the 2012 baseball season is underway. Four of the five Mustangs runs coming on home runs. Solo home run by Mendez. A three-run shot by Godo. And Mustangs added a fourth in that third inning after the Godo home run to extend the lead to 5 nothing. As we're here, bottom of the fifth. And Justin Flukes 
Flug, sorry, steps into the box. 0 for 1 here today is Flug with a fly out to the first baseman and a walk. As he looks to get his first hit of the 2012 season, Reed's still on the mound for the Mustangs. As his fastball is a little inside, ball one. Langford talking to his team in the dugout and asking them to string something together. As the breaking ball is taken for a strike, 1-1 one, one is the count now on Fluke. One heart, one dad. Reed gets the sign from his catcher, Richardson, now works through his windup. Pitch on the way. Not sure what that was, but it didn't make it to home plate. Found the backstop. Ball two now to Justin Flug of the Mustangs. Cole Frisbee on deck. Reed now delivers the 2 1 pitch. Flug's going to take it right in the center of his back. Looks like a breaking ball that got away there from Reed. It's going to give the Mustangs the leadoff runner on base in Flug. And again, we're going to see the courtesy runner. Sergio Becerra for the Mustangs, catcher Fluke. And it's going to bring Cole Frisbee up to the plate. Frisbee 0 for 1 with a walk and a ground out. As Reed comes set, checks runner at first. Frisbee swung on. Fly ball left side, down the line, and out of play. Left fielder Jacob Smith gave chase there, but unable to get to it. Foul ball is going to make it 0-1 here on Frisbee. Frisbee looks down to Coach Langford. Langford goes through his set of signs. Sergio gets off and takes a big lead at first. Held on by Christian Clear. Reed checks, now delivers to Frisbee inside. Ball one. One and one the count to Cole. Sergio now gets off the base. Reed checks him, gets the sign from Richardson. Reed sets, now delivers. Sergio's running. Frisbee gets into a ball hit right. Side high fly ball right fielder struggles and takes a little bit of an uh, interesting route to get to it, but he's able to do so and collects it for the the fly out. Frisbee Sergio's got to retreat and get back to first. As that's going to be the first out here for the Mustangs in the bottom of the fifth inning. Well hit by Frisbee as the Broncos right fielder lost his footing. Not much Sergio is able to do. As pitch number one here to David Mendez is the ball in the dirt. Want to know the count on Mendez? Mendez with that home run. One for two here today. Last at bat hit a hard ground ball to third base. Third base couldn't handle it. And he's he was safe on the air. We've got Sergio Vaccaro at uh, first base. Courtesy runner for the Mustangs catcher, Justin Flug. Reach sets, checks Sergio. Sergio with the big lead off first. As Mendez takes the breaking ball for a strike. One and one to count now on Mendez. As we set, five to nothing is our score. Bottom of the fifth inning. Mustangs with one out. 2-1 count here on Mendez as Reed sets, now delivers. Sergio takes off. Throw on its way from Richardson a little late as Sergio gets the stolen base. There he is. Come on, David. Runner now in scoring position for the Mustangs as Mendez has the advantage here at the plate. 3-1 count. As Reed now sets to deliver, Mendez swing on, swung on, hit hard over the left fielder's head. Ball's going to bounce 
over the fence for what's going to be ground rule double. That's going to score Sergio from second. And Mendez is going to pick up another RBI as he pulls up and eases into second base with the ground rule stand-up double. I don't think if you're David Mendez you can ask for a better way to start your season. 11 strikeouts, a home run, a ground rule double, a base hit. Heck of a way to start the game. Really is. Really is, as uh, Mendez's 2012 season is definitely off to a great start. As Mendez gets off second, the pitch delivered by Reed. The ball taken by Nate Alexander outside. Nate one for two with a fly out and a single. Flew out to second. As Alexander swings on, hits a fly ball in the left center field. Center fielder for the Broncos, Jordan Dunn, makes a nice sliding catch. The shallow part of left center field. Mendez not able to advance as Nate Alexander is out there on that fly out to short center field. That's going to bring up Ulysses Hernandez on that first pitch. He drills it to the left center gap. Mendez is going to score easily as Ulysses trots into second with the stand-up double, extending his lead for the Mustangs. As Ulysses Hernandez with that double picks up the RBI, Mustangs now lead seven to nothing. Bottom half of this fifth inning, and we're back to the top of the lineup. As Nick Garver steps in to the box. Garver one for two, hit by a pitch. A little bit of a bunt fielder's choice, and then flew out in foul territory. First pitch is a strike. Second now, breaks the ball on its way. Also called for a strike. It's going to put... Garver in an 0-2 hole. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. It's Garver's in an 0-2 hole. Pitch on the way. A little bit of a fastball. Hit hard back up the middle. It does Garver. Hernandez turning and burning here as he heads towards home. He's going to slide in safely. Extending this lead for the Mustangs to eight. Garver stays put at first. As he does well there to handle what wasn't a, a good 0-2 pitch. Looked to be a pitch right down the middle. Garver handled it, hits it hard up the middle, picks up the RBI. Coach Langford asked, and he is receiving. The Mustangs have been stringing together base hits and ground rule double followed up by a nice gap shot by Yuli Hernandez and now Nick Garver hits one right back up you know, the middle after you just mentioned him being in the hole. Now forces the Broncos to kind of have a meeting on the mound. Yeah, not necessarily the situation the Broncos want to be in. We've got two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Garver's at first, and Goto steps back up to the plate. Goto, one for two with a fielder's choice, hit by pitch, and that big three-run home run. Broncos don't want to see this game get any further away from them than it already is as they now trail eight to nothing. Bottom of the fifth inning, two outs for the Mustangs. Matt Goto steps into the box after a quick chat from the Broncos pitching coach. Garver, big lead off first, held on by Christian Clear. Pitch on the way from Reed, swung on and fouled straight back by Goto. Good swing by Matt. Ball got a little bit inside on him, wasn't able to get the barrel on the baseball, but nonetheless fouls it straight back. He's in the early hole, 0-1. Garver gets his lead, Reed picks up the sign from Richardson. Now sets, delivers, fastball. On its way and swung on by Goto. Foul ball over West Street and into the front lawn of somebody's house. That's going to put Goto in the 0-2 count. No different here than it was Garver. Reed's got to do a better job ahead 0-2 to 
to not hurt himself as Garver was able to, to help himself and Goto's going to do the same. Garver's running on the 0-2 pitch. Goto drives the fastball to right center field. Too good of a pitch by the Broncos' reads as Goto does his job and handles it, drives the ball right center field toward the single. That's going to move Garver, who is moving on the pitch, to third base. Good job by Goto to stay patient with that ball. As it felt like he looked like he waited on that ball for a long time and finally put a good swing on it and drove that ball to the right center gap. Mustangs with runners at first and third. That's going to bring Michael Fitzsimmons to the plate. 0 for 2 is Michael with the fielder's choice to walk and a fly out. As Fitzsimmons takes first pitch, swings right side. First baseman clear struggles to collect it, but does, and now tags out Fitzsimmons to end the Mustangs rally in fifth inning. We've got five in the books. Mustangs lead and are off to a great start here early in the 2012 season as they lead the Platte Valley Broncos eight to nothing. Listening to Mustang Baseball on B106.com, Josh Miller alongside Braden Schneider. Bringing you this afternoon's coverage as the Fort Morgan Mustangs baseball team starts off their year on a pretty warm and sunny, clear day. As the Mustangs wrap up this first baseball game of their season, they're going to take on a brush speed digger squad who lost in the playoffs Braden with basketball. They've had their full team now and only three days to really work out. It'll be interesting to see how that team's been able to mesh with three days of practice under their belts. But nonetheless, the Mustangs are going to have some momentum going into the nightcap here as they lead the Broncos 8 to nothing. That should be a chilly game for this night game. Sun goes down and it's, it's going to should be a good fun game. Looks like we've seen some substitutions now here for the the Mustangs. As uh, what looks to be number one, Nate Alexander's on the mound now. Looks like Miso Franco is at third now as he replaces Matt Goto. Or did Goto move back to center, Josh? I can't tell who that is out there. We've got changes all around. We'll try to get them to you as we pick up the numbers. Looks like Tyler Norton's going to go to left. Matt Goto did go to center, and Jacob Frick will remain in right. And catcher looks to be, I believe that's James Martin. Hey, Dana, what do you say? Get high, go hard, come on, boy. We got Norton in left field. Go to in center. Jacob freaking right. Dale Franco at third. Michael Fitzsimmons at short. Ulysses Hernandez at second. Cole Frisbee at first. Nate Alexander now on the mound for the Mustangs. And James Martin behind the plate. Pitch by Nate Alexander is collected in the dirt by Martins. Martins does a good job to keep that baseball in front of him. As the count goes to 0 1 here in the top half of the sixth inning. 1 0 pitch on its way. Swung on and hit into left field. Well hit by Richardson. He's on his way to second as it's collected in center by Goto. Going on to third base. Richardson's going to have the first hit here tonight. This afternoon for the the Broncos on a stand up double. As that ball was hit well into the gap. Eight to nothing is our score. Top of the sixth inning. Pitch on its way from Richardson. Curveball swung on. Didn't swing, and that's going to be a ball on. No, I've had it right the first time. 
It's what's called a strike. Lays the ground ball hit up the middle. Fielded by Michael Fitzsimmons, who throws it on and gets the out at first base. Fitzsimmons did a good job there to get the out there for the Mustangs. Eight nothing is their score. Top of the sixth inning. One out here for the Mustangs. First pitch by Anders, Alexander is the ball to Mario Trujillo. Second pitch now on its way. A fastball outside. That's going to be ball two. Two zero the count here on Trujillo. The runner advanced on that ground ball to third. Richardson now takes his lead off third. Alexander checks, delivers curve ball, swung on and missed. Two and one now the count. On number six, Mario Trujillo for the Broncos. As the Mustangs look to leave this runner here on third base. Fastball down and inside. Ball three. Three and one now the count. One out. Mustangs playing back with the eight nothing lead and willing to concede this run. As the curveball is hit weakly to third, it's going to be fielded by Michel Franco, but he's not going to be able to hold on to it, and that's going to allow Trujillo to get the first and the run to score for the Broncos. On that weak ground ball that's not able to be handled. First down for the Broncos. As Christian Clear, the left-handed first baseman, steps into the box. Ball one is taken. Second pitch now on the way. Runner at first, Trujillo. In motion as the ball is fouled over the railroad tracks here by... Christian Clear, 1-1 one, one is the count, one out, top of the sixth inning. Broncos putting their first run on the board, scores now 8-1. to one. As Alexander comes set, now picks off the first. Trujillo back in time, Frisbee holding on. Mario at first, Alexander now comes set, delivers what looks to be a slider of some kind into the dirt. James Martin does a good job to keep that baseball in front of him. 2-1 is now the count. Too clear. As he steps back, picks up a quick sign from his coach in the third base box. Alexander working from the stretch. Gets the sign from Martin. Trujillo off at first. Frisbee holding him on. Alexander comes set, delivers. Balls inside as... Trujillo steals the pace uncontested by Martins. As the count now goes to three and one. All right, second now for the Broncos. Three one is our count on clear as Nate Alexander comes set. Works to deliver what looks to be a change up high and inside. Ball four. We give the Broncos runners at first and second here with one out. Top of the sixth inning, and that's going to bring the five hitter, number one, Kyle Gardner, to the plate for the Broncos as Alexander comes set. Runner at second's worked by Hernandez and Fitzsimmons. Ball in the dirt, handled well and kept in front by Martins. Runners are going to have to stay put. One zero is the count. Back pick to first. It works well as Frisbee catches Christian Clear sleeping, and Frisbee's going to tag him out. It's going to be the second out of the inning on a good back pick there by Nate Alexander to Cole Frisbee coming in behind. As they catch Christian Clear sleeping. 
And he's picked okay. off. Trujillo stays put at second. Two outs now in the bottom of the sixth. Alexander sets, delivers. Fastball down the middle. And that's going to put... Gardner 0-2. Alexander's 0-2 pitches a ball. 1-2 is now the count on Gardner. As Alexander comes set, 1-2 pitch on its way. A curveball got away from Alexander a little bit. Gardner ducks out of the way. It's going to be ball two. 2-2 two two is the count. Top of the sixth inning, Mustangs lead 8-1. to one. Runner on second for the Broncos. Trujillo held and worked closely by Fitzsimmons. Now the pitch on the way by Alexander. Down and outside, ball three. And we have full count for the Broncos. Gardner as Nate Alexander for the Mustangs here. Three and two the count. Looks to try to end this inning on this pitch as the Mustangs have two outs in the top of the sixth. Alexander comes to a set. Now delivers what is to be a, looks to be a breaking ball. And that breaking ball is just a little bit outside, and that's going to be a walk. To Gardner putting runners at first and second for the Broncos. And that's going to be bring Brandon Gehring to the plate. Brandon's 0 for 1 here this afternoon. Hit by a pitch. And it struck out. And that strikeout, he had a little bit of a battle with Mendez before Mendez finally won. The fastball down and outside. Ball 1 by Alexander. You know, it is early in the season, which is understandable and likely why we're seeing some different players here now. Braden, uh, as Coach Langford probably wants to see what everybody's able to do here early in the season before we get to try Valley play, but Mendez really had this baseball game under control. He did. He's had a great start. And I understand what Coach Langford's doing. He wants to save some of his other players and move around, and he, I'm sure he wanted to see this defense work a little bit as Mendez really just grabbed the bull and flipped it over. He had everything in control, and Flat Valley knew that, and now let Nate Alexander in there, and Flat Valley's able to hit Nate a little bit better and just a little bit move, a little different movement on the ball from Alexander to Mendez and Wild Valley's now being able to work their baseball club a little different. A wild pitch on uh, Alexander advances the runner and now ball four is thrown, which is going to load the bases for the Broncos. Trujillo, Gardner, and Gehring working around the diamond from third to first. And that's going to bring up Cameron Maxey. He's 0 for 2 here this afternoon. Not sure what kind of bat he's using, but it looks like something out of the 1930s. Yeah, I just I caught that and I had to do a double take. It almost looks wooden from this angle. It does, and I'm not sure if that's by design or if it actually is. But uh, nonetheless, first pitch is the ball. Second now on its way is called for a strike on the inside part of the plate as Cameron Maxey takes the pitch. 1-1 one, one the count. Two outs bottom, or top of the sixth. And Ale Alexander answers with, again, another fastball on the inside part of the plate taken by Maxey. The count's now 1-2. and two. Alexander's 1-2. Breaking ball swung on and missed. And that's going to get the Mustangs out of the jam and end this sixth inning. With five and a half in the books, the Mustangs lead eight to one. On uh, nine hits, two errors. Mustangs have left seven on base. For the Broncos, they've got one run on one hit, an error, and six left on base. The line for the Mustangs, David Mendez, he pitched five innings, throwing 77 pitches, 11 strikeouts, two walks. And a hit by pitch, not allowing a hit. As Alexander comes into his first inning, faced quite a few batters, but uh, he's likely working out the early season jitters. Uh, seven batters came to the plate. 
in that top of the sixth. And as we head towards the bottom half of the sixth inning, Aaron Anderson and Kof, I believe it's going to be Aaron Anderson and uh, got Fluke here due up second, but that's going to be the replacement, which is. Let me operate. Who came in for him? James Martins. James Martins. Anderson stepping into the box 0 for 3 here today. He has had a ground out of two ground outs to the right side of the infield and a fly out. One of those ground outs moved a runner from second to third. So it wasn't a waste to that bat for him, but uh, Anderson here sets up and looks for his first hit of the season. As he steps into the batter's box, first pitch is on the way, swung on, fouled back, out of play. It's going to put him in the early hole, 0-1. On that foul ball, straight back and out of play. Anderson, left-hand swinging stick. As Reed sets and now delivers the 0-1 pitch, Anderson swings at it again, fouls it off. This time left side over the Mustangs dugout. And put Aaron in an 0 2 hole. We've actually got a new pitcher here for the Broncos. It looks like Gardner's coming into the game. Anderson spins on the 0 2 pitch, swings the right side, is going to find the outfield. Anderson's going to get his first hit of the season. As that ball squeaks through the 3 4 hole and into the outfield. Collected by Can't see that right fielder's number out there. And that's gonna bring James Martin to the plate. Martin's swings through that first pitch, put him in the O one hole. Gardner for the Broncos delivers the 0-1 pitch. It's a little bit outside, for, taken for a ball by Gardner. Taken for a ball, sorry, by Martins. 1-1 is the count on James. Anderson at first base, gets off with his secondary lead. Swung on, hit hard, but foul. Way to hit it hard. One two is the count now on James Martins. He came in last inning for Flug as the catcher. Hofer is beyond deck for the Mustangs. As the pitch is now on its way, swung on it hit hard in the left center gap. Center fielder Jordan Dunn was kind of shading that way for the the Broncos who collects it easily. It's going to be a single for Martins. On that hard hit line drive. Anderson moves up to second base on the the hit by Martins. And now we're going to have Cole Frisbee, the Mustangs first baseman. Cole 0 for 2 today with the ground out of walk and a fly out. As he now steps in after getting any sign put on by Coach Langford. Pitch on its way. One attempt is fouled off. Not a good pitch to bunt, but uh, nonetheless, Frisbee tried at it, fouled it off. It's going to put him in the 0-1 hole. He now steps in. Gardner gets the sign from Richardson. And he now sets, checks Anderson, the runner at second. Frisbee looks to try to bunt again, unable to get the barrel out in front far enough and keep that ball in play as he fouls it off again. Frisbee goes into the 0-2 hole. Unable to get the two bunt attempts down. He's fouled both of those off and putting himself in the 0-2. Going to look to fight off anything here thrown by Gardner. 
Runners at first and second for the Mustangs. Pitch swung on, hit right side. Collected by clear. Going to move the runners. Just as good as a bunt for Frisbee as the runners now move up into scoring position. Anderson to third, Martins to second. They're going to call that off. They're going to call that a foul ball. Oh, wow. Well, I guess uh, if anybody's complaining, it may be the Broncos, but Frisbee's not. Frisbee's not. He's going to get another chance here. So the count is 0-2 on Frisbee. As he fouls off another pitch here straight back over the press box. So we caught the press box. <laughs> As Gardner gets the sign, 0-2 is the count on Frisbee. Pitch on its way, swung on, hit hard, now right side, collected again by Clear. Runners are going to move up, no different than the situation we just had a couple pitches ago before the foul ball was called off the foot of Frisbee. Frisbee's going to ground out to the first baseman unassisted. And with that said, that's going to advance the runners. To second and third, and that's going to bring up Misael Franco, who came into the game, third base position. Misael's first step out of the season, he takes ball one. As Gardner now works and sets to deliver the next pitch, ball two. Misael, as he establishes 2-0 count. Pitch on the way by Gardner. Taking in the dirt. I have that as ball three, but uh, somewhere here I must have missed a strike, Braden, as the scoreboard shows 2-1. to one. I don't know if they're accurate or I am. I haven't seen anything from the umpire, but nonetheless, Five. it's going to be a ball... Uh, Miss Al, so we missed a strike somewhere. Nonetheless, count is three and one. Miss Al took that first pitch and it went right down the center. All four taken by Miss Al as he heads down to first base. That's going to put runners and load the bases for the Mustangs with Anderson on third, Martin's on second, Franco with the walk on first. Is Nate Alexander? Comes to the plate, one for three is Alexander with a fly, two flyouts and a single. As he steps in and looks for the first pitch from Gardner. Gardner threw the wind up, pitch on its way, taken wide and outside in the dirt, ball one. One and no count here on Nate Alexander. Nate coming into the game in the last, or the top part of this inning, the pitch. And he now has the 1-0 pitch on the way, taken for the strike. A little bit of a breaking ball here by Gardner. 1-1 the count on Alexander. With uh, what looks to be, if I'm correct, Luis Hernandez on deck for the Mustangs. Alexander a bit jammed there on that foul ball as it heads between the catcher and first baseman. A bunch of Broncos give chase, but... Uh, not an affair under that baseball for anybody to get under it as the ball hits the ground. One and two to count on Alexander. As the Mustangs have the bases loaded here in the bottom of the sixth. One out. One and two is the count on Nate Alexander. As the Mustangs look to add to their lead and Get three more outs then this baseball game and collect their first win of the 2000 season. Uh, yet again, another 2 2 train. It's on the way, it's called a strike. <clears throat> or, sorry, ball. 2 and 2 the count now on Alexander as he takes ball three. Base is loaded, full count, one out. Bottom of the sixth inning. As Gardner collects the sign, <clears throat> now works through his windup. The full count pitch on its way to Alexander. Swung on and hit hard down the left field line. Well hit, but it's going to be a foul ball. 
I just watched the left field fence. Left fielder Jacob Smith giving chase for the Broncos, but ran out of room as that baseball hit the top part of the fence on down the left field line. Gardner gets a new baseball. Alexander steps back in. 3-2 is the count. Full count pitch on the way by Gardner. Taking ball four by Alexander. Everybody's going to move up a base, and the Mustangs are going to extend their lead now 9-1. to one. As Ulysses Hernandez looks down to Coach Langford before he steps into the batter's box. Hernandez, one for two here today with a double. He's also had a fly out to left field. As the first pitch is on the way to Ulysses, taking four ball. 1-0 the count here with one out, bottom of the sixth inning. Mustangs lead the Broncos 9-1. to Gardner works through his windup, pitch on its way, down and low and in the dirt, ball two. 2-0 two now the count to Ulysses. And pitch on the way, ball three. 3-0 three oh the count. Likely here, Ulysses would have the green light, but nonetheless, the pitch is taken for a strike. 3-1, three three and one. now the count on Ulysses Hernandez. Bases loaded for the Mustangs, nowhere to put Ulysses. As Gardner's going to have to throw another strike. Wind up, pitch on the way by Gardner. Hits Ulysses in the... Middle part of the back, which is going to move everybody around 90 feet. And give the Mustangs another run. 10-1 to 1 now our score. Bottom of the sixth inning. Mustangs can get one more run here. They may not have to even come out and play defense the next one with that 10-run rule in effect. It's going to bring Tyler Norton to the plate. Tyler came into this baseball game in the top half of this inning. Be Tyler's first at bat of the 2012 season as Garden now works through the windup, pitch on the way, taking ball one, low and outside. Gardner here, as of late, struggling to find the strike zone. Mustangs with bases loaded in the bottom of the sixth inning with one out. 1 0 is the count on Tyler Norton, pitch on the way, swung on and missed. Not much velocity by either of these two Platte Valley pitchers. As the Mustangs getting a little bit excited when they see some of these pitches up in the zone, but Norton unable to connect on that one as the 1-1 pitch is now on the way. And the dirt ball, two. 2-1 two and one the count on Norton. Bases loaded for the Mustangs with Misael Franco at third, Nate Alexander at second, Lucis Hernandez at first. 2-1 pitch on the way, taking ball three by Norton. Norton in a pretty good situation here, three and one. If he can get a good pitch to hit, likely going to see a quality swing put on this baseball. See if he can't extend this lead, or, or quite frankly, likely end the game here with mercy. If he does, it's the ball hard left field. Nobody's going to be able to get it if the Mustangs are going to collect with likely their first win of the season. As uh, Sal Franco. Scores and extends this baseball game to a 10-run lead, and that's going to do it here. As the Mustangs finish off the Broncos in six innings with a final score of 11-1. to We'll take a quick break. Be back, add up some final numbers, uh, or... Communicate some final numbers, Braden, and then the, these Mustangs will be right back in action at six o'clock as they take off the take on the Brush Feet Diggers. T.O. Charlie, see T.O. Charlie's for a great used car truck today. If you don't see what you want on the lot, they will find it for you at 700 West Platte Avenue in Fort Morgan. Platte Valley Hearing Center at 417 Main Street in Fort Morgan is getting your hearing to its very best. Ackley Building Center, your one-stop center for projects around your home, office, yard. Ackley Building Center, located at 1402 Mill Street in Brush. 
Also, buildings by design, the most important thing to buying a new building or starting a new design build project is picking the right company to build it. Call Pat Walter, Travis Lefevre, Jared Samples for your free bid today, 970-842-5837, buildingsbydesign.com. And Morgan Federal Bank, your one-stop shop for all of your banking and investment needs. From checking to saving star rates, that's 321 Enzyme Street, Morgan Federal Bank. There's a difference. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Northern Colorado Title. For all of your title needs, see Tim Weimer at Northern Colorado Title at 205 Kiowa in Fort Morgan. And BGT Quest. Stop by 302 Main Street in Fort Morgan. Letter jackets, t-shirts, banners, and more. They're also your local experts in customizing your team's sports apparel. Don't forget about Equitable Savings and Loan. They're Northeast Colorado's hometown savings and loan in Fort Morgan and Brush. For the Mustangs here as we close out with a quick post-game show. Post-game show brought to you by High Plains Bank in Wiggins. No matter what your loans need, stop by High Plains Bank at 502 Central Avenue in Wiggins today. Also inquire about checking and savings accounts as well as CDs at High Plains Bank in Wiggins. Mustangs collecting their first win of the season. 11-1 is our final here in Fort Morgan as the Mustang Classic and the Mustang baseball season's underway here in 2012. The Mustangs collecting 11 runs on 12 hits. Two errors, leaving seven runners on base. The Broncos only able to produce one run on one hit. One error and six runners left on base. The story, quite frankly, was, uh, and if there is a player of the game, David Mendez, five brilliant innings on the mound, 11 strikeouts, a solo home run, a uh, double, and uh, really kind of lit the fire here for the Mustangs as then Goto hit a three-run blast and, with those four runs on the board, the Mustangs didn't have to look back. You have no other choice but to give him player of the game. He he did it all, and then he started he started everything. And once that happened, we had then a three run shot by Matt Godo. We knew we have power hitters. We just didn't know when they were going to come into play. And once they figured out what Platte Valley's pitchers were going to do, they caught on and they never let up. And here late in the game, the Mustangs just put the nail in the coffin by getting that ten run rule into effect, and it's good to see the Mustangs come out and just never die. They took Nate Alexander a little bit to get going, and then he found his rhythm and got out of his inning. Mustangs look good here early. It's going to be a fun game for you and John Beltran to do tonight. It's the be under the lights here at Legion Field. Yeah, these Mustangs have the momentum. They've got the Brush Baseball team coming in here uh, later tonight. Uh, that Brush Ball Club is set to play uh, Platte Valley here. Uh, before the Mustangs will see them. Both teams will have a game under their belt before they run into each other later tonight. But uh, nonetheless, the Mustangs' 2012 season here is underway and off to a great start as they collect the win against the Broncos. We'll be back a little later here this evening on both B106.com and B106 on the FM dial. As we close up here tonight... I'm Josh Miller alongside Braden Schneider. Final score, 11-1 to in six. Mustangs win. We'll be back here later this evening with the nightcap. You've been listening to Mustang Baseball on B106.com.